Saturday, the first official day of winter break for my school district. And I am gonna keep myself busy today to stay out of my head as much as I can and make some Christmas cookies tonight. So, hopefully this vlog will have a little more content than the last few days because I'm going to try to do stuff. Okay, see you in the next clip. Okay, this is my before shot. I'm cleaning all of this today. Everything will be clean. Look at all this dog hair. This floor is dirty. It's going to be clean. This is all going to be cleaned up. myself incredibly nervous even though I'm not a superstitious person though I'm not a superstitious person um, I can't help but feel like that car wreck after I made a big decision yesterday was a bad omen and so I'm just trying to not think about that everything's gonna be fine um, <clears throat> I'm not really like a believer in that kind of stuff but I have found in my life that every time I make a big decision I usually feel right away that it was the right decision and feel like relief and good things start happening right away and um, I guess this decision wasn't like life-altering but just because like so many bad things happened after I made that decision <laughs> it's starting to feel like maybe something is going to be life-altering because of it to be clear, the decision was to not go home for Christmas, so yeah, I'm just trying to stay positive and have Christmas cheer, but it's, I didn't realize how superstitious I am, I guess. Wow, I just got a hold of the people working on my car and they said they fixed it, but they want to like keep doing road tests every day to make sure it doesn't break down on me again, to hope it doesn't. And then I said I'm leaving town and he said he will happily store my car. There we go, I knew it was too close. He said he will happily store my car for me to absolutely no fee because I've been such a patient and kind customer. And I mean, they probably do no fee ever, but I was like, are, are you sure there's no fee? I can, you know, just take it back a day early. But he was like, for you, I'll just lock it up and you call when you're back in town. So that's really nice. cleaning stuff that I have never cleaned before obviously good and it's like oh I wish I had like Ajax and her magic eraser all this like fancy cleaning stuff but I'm just using a rag and soap and water like the olden days I mean they were clean in the olden days sometimes right okay I am walking to the post office with two bags full of gifts to send um, I was going to do this yesterday, so hopefully things still make it before Christmas, but, um, yeah, it would have been nice to do this when I had a car. I could, like, go get boxes and then put them together in my car, but now I have to do it all in the post office, so hopefully they allow that. Everything is so weird with COVID. Oh, I should check if the post office is even open. Um, I just got this package. I'm going to open it 
and it says it's from the Jonas Brothers. Um, I don't recall ordering anything from them, so it might be a gift or it might be actually from them. And I'm going to find out. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Does this say who bought it? I'll have to call my mom. I need you Christmas Jonas Brothers t-shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing this until Christmas. My favorite. Look at them. They're so cute and little. DJ, what do you think? It's awesome. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's the Jones Brothers Christmas song. Whoever sent me this forgot to get DJ one. <laughs> I guess I'll call my mom now and see if it was from her. <laughs> okay, that was from my mom, so thank you so much, mom. <laughs> and I'll try it on in a little bit. Cool. It's so cool and so quiet. It's like. love that. Okay, this is about as clean as it's going to get today. Oh, I can put this away. <laughs> um, obviously, there's already dishes again and DJ cooked, but you know, that's life. It's constantly going on. So, oh look, here's my table. I'm uploading video right now. That was my dinner. Um, the floor is cleaner over here. Oh, I didn't do the couch yet. Pretend I didn't reveal this yet. I'll reveal the other half of the room later. I just wanted to talk about, so I bought this carry-on because I am going with DJ to see his family and it was $30 to bring a bag and I don't really need my huge suitcase so I was like, oh, I should just get a carry-on. And so I bought this carry-on for exactly $30 so um, worth it in the end, you know? Now I not only pay $30, but I also have a carry-on I can use from now on. However, that carry-on is the sole reason that I got in that car wreck yesterday because had I not needed to buy it, um, DJ would have went with me to Shake Shack and he would have been driving. So I do harbor a little resentment to that carry-on now and, uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to use it, but... I also was thinking, okay, I'm not, again, not a superstitious person, but this whole bad almond thing, maybe like the almond wasn't the car wreck, but the car wreck was what the almond was about. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know if that make like, how to explain that, but like, like I had such a bad gut feeling yesterday, probably part of why I ended up in a car wreck because when I'm stressed, uh, not paying enough attention to the road, shouldn't have been driving, but also just that maybe maybe the car wreck wasn't a sign that something bad was going to happen maybe it was a bad thing hello um dj's at the door and it's unlocked so i don't know why he knocked now morticia's sad um anyway so yeah maybe the car wreck was the bad thing and everything's going to be good from here. I mean, I've had a pretty good day. Had to spend a lot of money to mail packages home and uh, cleaned a lot. Now I'm tired. I don't have the energy to clean everything, but I have all weekend. Also a lot of fun day before we go. So don't look behind me right now. The bathroom's not clean. Okay. Well, I mean, that's all I was going to say about that. So I guess I'll clean this couch now so you can have this living space reveal in a moment. Living room reveal. Ooh, look at that cute dog. <gasps> Work it, girl. I don't know why she jumped up. She looks so cute. Okay, well, the couch is clean now. That will get clean tomorrow. Anyone else's boyfriend put a pic of you crying as his wallpaper? <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot. Fresh out the shower. Here's my new shirt. 
And I need you, Christmas. What do you think of my shirt? We about to watch the family man <laughs> and eat the nachos. <laughs> That's all. Oh, look how good my hair is. Yeah, if you call that good. And that looks better. <sighs> That's my hair. Dude, my hair was so raggedy in the video last night when we doing a shot. I turned my head like you didn't tell me my hair is all tousled in the back. What did we do last night? We watched Resident Evil. So that's why I didn't like vlog anything. We actually did have a, an okay night. Like it wasn't like the worst day of my life. Like hey, they in mentioned whole. Christmas in it though. That's right. He said no. He mentioned Santa Claus. He climbed up to the roof and he said, "Guess I gotta be Santa Claus tonight." So it. It was a Christmas movie, and I'm glad we watched it for the holidays. <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow? Frick, I don't Editing. know. Yeah, I need to, like, get a new book that actually catches my interest so that I can just let the day go by and get lost in some fantasy world. If you have any book recommendations, drop them in the comments. But I'll probably just look at whatever my mom has on her Kindle. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to tell my vlog how good how good that movie was. Who cares? What was the movie about? The movie was about a family man. This, this music's copyright. Turn it off. It's over the it's come back. Cause I want the people. The people want to hear your input. I don't have a drink. It's, it's fine. We'll get one after this. Uh. It turns out. So good. The <laughs> Family Man is such a good movie. Um. It was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like. It takes place around Christmas. It was a Christmas movie. And his, Nicolas Cage plays the family man. He becomes the family man. It's his origin. But then he is forced to be the business bitch again. And he doesn't like that life anymore. Yeah, he spends months as the family man and he finds out this is so much better. Uh, there were some inappropriate things in the movie, like the baby dick. <laughs> 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 there was one time they changed a baby's diaper well, and, and they, they showed hold us on everything. It, like, the editor or director's the choice. The baby's peeing. The baby was peeing. Yeah, but it, for a good 30 seconds. <laughs> and you see the pee come out of the pee pee. That was the most unnecessary part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the movie, um, overall, I feel like it had the right message. It taught me that money doesn't matter and that in the end, the love you make is greater than the love you take. What is that phrase? I don't know. Um, and it was pre 9 11, so you could still have oh, there fun. Was so, you could there still were have so fun many in airports. There were so many things that were like, this is before 9 11. At least at the end. There were so many when they're in the airport. Um, and. We also learned that Don Cheadle is the ghost of Christmas future, present, or past. I don't no, know which he's one. the ghost of Christmas convenience. Because he worked at a convenience store. And he robbed a convenience he store. He robbed a convenience store and then he worked at a convenience store. He also drove a Ferrari <laughs> or whatever at some point. Conveniently. <laughs> anyway... I loved that movie. Um, there's not a lot of Nicolas Cage movies that make me like and respect Nicolas Cage. I can't necessarily say that I would marry him. There were him. no Nicolas Cage freakouts in it, though. Disappointing. He freaked out a little bit at the beginning. He was a little unruly. He freaking left he his... What? <laughs> he what? He what? He 
he just up and left his family on Christmas morning. Like, he couldn't figure out. He couldn't be like, sorry, I'm in the wrong house and have them, like, help him. He just ran away. I, I didn't like the beginning. That's, how many Like, how many times are girls going to get in that situation, though? You know, it's happened to every guy where they wake up not knowing the night before and they've ended up in bed with a woman who has two kids. You got to run out of there. But on Christmas morning. <laughs> And they're like, it's Christmas. And he's like, and this was just my Christmas party date. <laughs> I gotta go home. <laughs> okay, that's actually a funny way to look at it. To make it a little bit, a little benefit of the dowdy. What? A benefit of the It's a B of the D. Give him a little more B of the D. And in that case, I guess he's used to hooking up with people, so... I'll give him that B of the D for that scene. I'll take it. I'll take back my judgment. The only thing that needed work was the theme song. I don't remember a theme song. It was like, family man, family man, does whatever family can. <laughs> Drives his kids yeah. in a van. <laughs> yeah. Look out. Here that comes needed a work. Man. That wasn't good. I can't believe they played it so many times in the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> we rented and started watching and it's so bad that we had to pause it so the DJ can text all his friends about how bad it is. And if my mom's watching this, we'll send you $5 because we rented it on your account. I can't make any comments on the internet about this. My friend directed this movie that... We won't say his name and I won't tag you. Hello? I would like to be done watching this movie, but apparently we're going to continue. But here's CJ's review. Well, I'm going to continue watching it because I believe in Christmas miracles. So I'm hoping by some miracle this movie gets better. The frame rate is awful. The editing is awful. The sound is awful. And uh, is the Benjamin Button of filmmakers. His quality of work gets worse <laughs> as he ages. And how do you know this man? <laughs> We're friends. But how did you become friends? Um, I sent him a friend request, and then he denied it, and then I said, what the and then he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, because he's such a nice guy. That's why I feel bad talking shit about him. <laughs> he wants to be on the vlog again. No, I was getting a phone call. Oh. What were you going to say? It's, the director of this movie is calling me right now. What? Oh, yeah. We're watching your movie right now. Uh, I love it. <laughs> It's so good. <laughs> Why is your screen black? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tell you said for this is for my blog. So tell us what you're, we're doing. You write a word, but you write better than that. <laughs> and then you draw the image and hide the letters. What? It's wrong with my writing. I wrote it in a normal way. It's for my new Resident Evil channel. It did say liquor and now it's a liquor. This one, it said poo. And now it's like a fat Winnie the Pooh. And then this one was Patrick Star. And now it's a. I have nothing to say about this one. 